That's a fast car, and he's got a fast car pushing him. We saw Hamlin push to the lead earlier in the race. Four cars trying to settle among themselves. Kenson coming to the outside lane to pick up his teammate Biffle. Oh. It does. Toyota's going to try to push their way to the front, but a long way to go to get there. And Darrell, in less than outside line, gets to moving. Matt Kenson, his best friend, right now, the double yellow line. Oh, I think right now, Larry, everybody say, okay, let's ride right here. Let's hold what we got. Don't anybody panic, because it's going to be a drag race. That's where these races have been won every time down here this week. Kenseth knows that the yellow line is his friend, man, and he's protecting that bottom. That's all you need to do right now. Make him go out on the outside if they're going to pass you. Five to go. And here's what's going to happen, Larry. Biffle is going to, he's going to make the decision. Am I going to stay behind my teammate, or am I going to let that 11 push me right past him? That's a question that Biffle's got to sit there and ask himself. And that's probably the question Matt Kenseth is asking himself about Greg Biffle. Got to believe that Bill and the kids is a little skeptical based on the way they raced each other in their qualifying race. And Denny Hamlin in third in the number 11 has no friends. Two boards, Hamlin's Toyota by itself and two Chevrolets behind, Earnhardt and Burton, or Chevys, Harvick, Menard, Newman, and 14, Tony Stewart. And there's Tony Stewart's teammate, Ryan Newman. Oh, Tony's oh, around, another wreck. John. In the same spot. Is that where that wreck was? Is that where that wreck was by any chance? Nope. It's in the same spot. Same spot. Something over track. Obviously. Something's wrong there. Landon Castle. Or excuse me, David Rudiman. That's two times. Tony got around, but I, I don't know if he got a lot of damage. I see a lot of uh, body damage and tires that got oh, the side road dumped up, time. but the car didn't look that bad once he got it straightened out. Let's check oh, out his depot. He's got a scratch on him. He's still I pretty good, much too. said that we're going to need tires, but I got it. <laughs> Steve Addington, Stewart's new crew chief. Let's see what happened. There's Tony who's right back here. I see him all corner. of a sudden. He gets a little push from behind, Same maybe from Joey Logano. He and Stenhouse go around. Something Newman slipped and Bush. around there. No sparks. And Newman and Bush was actually Somebody in front of something. Tony a little bit when that started happening. Blaney involved. Let's see here, there's here's 39 up here. Right, right Eminem. there. He slid. Stenhouse got into uh, the side and Stenhouse in the six got into Tony. The tires I'm start not to sure slide. though that David Gilliland didn't get into the back of Stenhouse and push him up into Tony. The tires start have to look spin. at it again. That's about There's the second or third road. wreck we've There's seen on the, on the exit track. of the trial. Well, it just starts narrowing up right there. Cars are really free and loose right through the trial. Well, I'm telling you, you're running 200 mile an hour through there. It's hard to hang on sometimes. What is that blackness on there so where he just slipped? The 18 jumped down in front of Ricky Stenhouse. I bet you there's a little bit of oil streak I know, on there. I know Stenhouse is <coughs> Tony. I'm not sure if he got forced into him. There's, there's smoke right out here. All right, there's Stenhouse with Gilliland behind him. Now, you know what? The 20 car and the 6 car make a little contact. Right. And I'm not sure that didn't move the 
six car up and sent house up just enough that he got into the left rear of Tony Stewart. So let's uh, not again. Hey, group here. Joey Logano and Ricky Stenhouse make contact. Stenhouse moves up into Tony Stewart.